Welcome back, my loyal subjects, to more Persona 5. Pharaoh Fiasco here. Last episode, we solved the key mechanism puzzle to the last, what I'm hoping at least, is the last part of the of the Bank Palace. Uh, I went ahead, because we're, we're obviously going to fuse up some new Personas. We've been out of space for a while now. And it doesn't look like Oni's learned anything new since we jailed him, so we're not going to worry about him right now. We're just gonna wait. First, we need to register all of our new jokers. Register all, and now we can create. Queen's necklace, Oni. Yeah, still can't do anything with Oni. It's just taking up a spot, but that's fine. First, let's see what Queen's necklace knows. Tarukaja, Rakukaja, Sukukaja, Rikarm, Medea, Tarunda, Rakunda, and Sakunda. Okay. So that's golden. It's a different spread than the Emperor one. Hmm. That's okay. Lita, it's cool. It's kind of interesting that they've got stats and abilities, but they can't be used in battle. There's probably going to be something we can do on New Game Plus that'll let these guys be used like regular personas. But for right now, let's see. Who can we make? Black Ooze. You can't handle this. Huh. Excessive power only leads to destruction. Yeah, level 29, so no no point worrying about it. Amino Uzume, which we can't Excessive make. Excessive power only leads to destruction. Hmm. So Choten, which we also can't make. Takumi Nakata can't make. Crap, dude. Niki Mitama. Uh. Suiki, which we can make with this Orthrus. Isis, let's do it. A strong persona indeed. Resist, forget. Um, weak to sigh, but it nulls bless and curse. Hmm. Um, let's hold on. Let's go through these. What what can we make with Nue? We can make cloth though with Yaks uh, Yakshini and Jakokten. I see. A strong persona indeed. Mm, Mahama. Pajama. It could be good. So Nui and Yakshini. Wait, let's take a look at what Jakokten could uh, bring You'll to the table too. This? Strong. It's a fizz. Memory blow. Chance to forget. Uh or Sandman. Not terrible. But not impressive. Hmm. I'm surprised Sandman is is coming up so late, but yeah, I don't have a problem with this. Let's make Sandman. Choose the inherited skills, inmate. Maeha, Sayo, Rakunda. Receive some new power. Yeah. Let's go ahead, my, and we my. need to. I think this is like our fourth persona that's weak to elect. Holy crap! I'm Sandman. Your owning that mask makes you particularly special. I'll give you some good dreams tonight. And Sandman's joined us in our journey. All right. And also learned Secunda should. Yes. Hmm. Next we can make Isis or Lamia. Hmm. Looks pretty tough. Weak to ice, but it's strong to elect gun and curse. Hmm. We did just make him, but eh, that's fine. Choose the inherited skills, inmate. Let's Garula, Maeha, and Sayo. Its power will be nothing unusual. We haven't even formed the Empress yet, so now might as well. And this thing can hit a bunch of weaknesses, so that's good. I am Lamia. I am the flames of vengeance. Any who oppose us shall be singed by the fire now within your mask. Golden? I'm up for singeing. Now, Yakshini. We can make Kinky by fusing up Rakshasa. Not terrible, but not impressive. Yeah. Especially since we just got these two. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Um, 
it's already got wind wall is good. 10% chance of reflecting physical skills. Uh Raku Kagja. Mm. Let's do Taru Kagja instead. Power, yeah, let's go ahead with this. Begin. All right. I'm King Ki. If you possess the mask, I will grant you the power of an unyielding heart. We fused up a couple good new personas, and now we're ready to journey back in. Oh, right, the chariot. Dodge Psy. I completely forgot. Doubles evasion against fizz skills. So we're going to have to kind of rely on that. But also, our spread of personas, we need to... Now we can we can get three more, and we're gonna need them because we still like we've got two empresses, and we're not gonna like when it comes time to grind up social uh, confidants rather again. Uh, we're gonna be missing these jokers, I'll but for right now, this. let's go ahead save, and then we'll rush back in. Underground vault, only four. That's insane. But I guess most of this part was coming back and going to the same one. But that's that's interesting. Because there were like... There were definitely at least twice as many in Madatame's dungeon. And you'll notice we're running with the originals right now, so... Whoa. Hey, this is an elevator, yeah? So a way down really did show up. You're like some kind of prophet, queen. It's mostly thanks to that notebook. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for that. More importantly... Did you hear all those things Shadow Kaneshiro was saying? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I was wondering about that. Didn't he seem kind of insecure or something? Exactly. He kept bringing up how rich and powerful he wants to be. So if he's insecure about that shit, he thinks he's really just some poor weakling, huh? Maybe by thinking he was going to be a strong, wealthy man, he convinced himself it was true. No. I wonder... Well, we will discover the truth for ourselves when we change his heart. Let us hurry, Joker. Okay. Because what... The elevator, this should... Uh, this should secure our path after, like, maybe one or two more scenes. Then, we can spend a whole trip in here grinding, which I'm probably not going to do on camera. Found it! It's right here! But out in the open, though? I don't see anything. From here on, we're going to need this calling card thing. Calling card. I see. Making the target believe that the treasure is in danger will cause it to materialize. That's quite a bold trick. Seriously? Huh? She understood? Joker, we'll defer to you regarding its timing. Okay, guys. Let's get ready for the heist. And that's it for that. The next time we enter that treasure room will be after we send out the calling card. In the end, that Kaneshiro bastard only showed his stupid face once. That doesn't matter. As long as we steal the treasure, we'll change his heart. Then let's act as the Phantom Thieves should and send the calling card. It's on you, Joker. If you wish to train or explore further before sending it, that decision is purely yours. Okay, maybe we can kind of delay this maybe three days? Nah. But from here on out... Oh, we can't, we can't teleport from here. What am I doing? But yeah... I definitely want to grind up a little bit, but I'm not going to do any of that on camera. Just spend one day in here killing stuff, killing stuff, killing stuff. Don't know why I went up the elevator when we were wanting to go back to the underground vault, but whatever. Whatever. From here, yeah. We can... we can leave. Let's, let's go ahead and just go. Let's head back. We've secured our route to the treasure. Do you want to get out of here? Return to the real world. Give us that beautiful update. Oh, hey! Those are their own ones. But yep, secured a route to the treasure. Yes. We finally secured our route to the treasure! All we need to do now is send the calling card! Okay. Indeed. We have finished the pre-arrangements, and now we shall face the true test. But this is no time to panic, Joker. Let us ensure we succeed after having come so far. You're telling me, dude. Um. So tomorrow, because we're definitely, we're going to need to come in. Rain, huh? 
I'm so sick of how few customers I get during the rainy season. Oh, what's this? When are we going to send the calling card? We should hurry it up. I have to agree, the earlier the better in my book. There is no assurance he will keep his promise after all. What are your thoughts on the matter, Makoto? Honestly, I can't wait to send it. I want to put an end to his nasty crimes as soon as possible. I agree. Damn, I gotta step up my game. You guys are super passionate. We'll be ready to go whenever you are. Okay, there shouldn't be anything too crazy happening. Should just be a normal day. And yeah, there's... Because we got all the locked treasure. We needed three, three of the keys for that, but there's nothing we're missing out on that end. We just need to update our stuff. Oh, what's this? Only two more weeks. We cannot afford to dally for much longer at this point. Is Kaneshiro still demanding we pay up? I don't know why he wouldn't be, but I'm sure. Yes, every single day. Man, it's gotta be tough dealing with that daily. I'm used to it by now. You are? You're amazing! So far, it's only been emails, so it hasn't been too difficult to put the matter out of my mind. Who knows when he may resort to more extreme measures, though. We can't trust him. Yeah, if he sends out that photo, we're totally done for! It would probably be a good idea to handle this sooner rather than later. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely sooner rather than later. Okay, nothing too crazy, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna grind up, and then we're gonna tackle Kaneshiro. So one second, guys. Ah, uh, you're back. Phew, and that is what they call a wrap. Okay, so we got a discount on, in between, in between the last bit and this bit, we got a discount on the prices at the, in the Velvet Room, when we're summoning out Personas. Other than that, everybody's gained some levels, but now we're ready to send the calling card. So we'll send, we'll spend one day on the calling. No, the same day we spend the send the calling card is the same day we go in. So with 13 days left on the clock, we're gonna go ahead and get Junya. Whew. And then we'll be free to hang out. So we're not gonna waste even a single solitary moment. Hideout access way. Oh, wait, we are going to waste a single solitary moment because I used up some items while you we were uh, doing stuff, taking care of business. First, let's go to the airsoft shop to sell off some of this stuff. And I don't think there's really any accessories or anything we're wanting. And I, I've already picked out who I'm going to be using. Okay. Sell all treasures. That's fine. Okay, melee weapons. Nah, we're fine. All right. All right, which one? The Copus. Holy crap, dude. The melee weapon you're using actually kind of sucks. Fine, let's go ahead and get the Copus. And then we can sell him our silver dagger. Uh... Dang. Yeah, we're fine. Everybody else is fine. Yeah, we're not worried about anybody, uh, anybody else at the moment. Okay. What we are worried about, we're gonna take another quick trip to the clinic. Just double up on these places. Oh yeah, she wants to hang out, but that's not gonna happen. Well, she wants me to do a clinical trial, but it might as well be hanging out. Well, which do you want? And thankfully, we've got that fat discount. Um, we're good on revivadrins. I feel like you have a different vibe going on. Life ointments are also cool, but no, neither of these. Not worried about those. Um, uh, should work. Wow, that's expensive. Thanks. Those are for emergencies. These are for like okay. general use. Those are pointless at this stage. Um, these kinds of have a use, but I can't really see myself in a situation where I'll use a regular old Takamedic over a Takamedic All Z. What? Yeah. Oh well. Okay, now we'll send the calling card. No more dilly dallying. Hideout access way. 
We're gonna let Junior know he can't just mess with the Phantom Thieves and live, dude. Like, no. You thought you were gonna get us, dude? We're gonna get you. Oh. You're all here. All we need to do now is send the calling card. Let's steal our resolves and get it done. Send calling card. No. I guess we should send out the calling card. So Ryuji's gonna write it? I'm honestly surprised. Now the question is, how do we deliver the calling card to him? That Ryuji's the person who's making it, but okay. Yeah, we don't know where he lives. Hmm? Why not use the same method as before? Where you got yourself kidnapped? It sounds like Makoto has an idea in mind. The same method as before? Uh... To what are you referring? Uh, you're back. What the heck? So, when did up, uh, what ended up happening with the calling card? Makoto took Ryuji with her. She specifically mentioned that he would be fine and we have nothing to worry about. Hmm? I wonder what she plans on doing with him. Has anyone heard anything from either of them? Uh, let's leave it to them. I'm sure it'll be fine if Makoto's there with him. I'd definitely be worried if Ryuji was going alone, though. You have a point. I suppose we will find out tomorrow either way. For now, we should get some rest. Yep, see ya! We're finally going to strike tomorrow! Let's get some sleep so we can be in tip-top shape! Uh, that reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. You want to check out the TV? Um, we might as well. Um... Well, we can... We can order stuff from the TV and come downstairs to make coffee. Should be. The Uji Matcha Flan. Uh, 2980. I mean, we can buy it, so might as well. Yeah. Uji Matcha Flan. All right. And now let's head back downstairs and make the coffee. Oh, if it'll let us leave. Hold on. Hey. Dang. Okay, never mind. Let's breathe some coffee then. Ooh. Looks like you're starting to get interested in this. Hey, you're not trying to impress me, are you? Well, whatever. All right, I'm heading out to buy some cigarettes. No, dude, we're not trying to imp uh, impress you, Sojito. We're taking what you taught us and putting it to good oh. use. Mm, I love the smell of good coffee. Coffee does smell pretty good. Yes. All right. The way you're drinking it makes it look delicious. Got LeBlanc coffee. Just one, though. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll have a sip. Alright, Sojiro, what do you think, dude? Mm. This acidity. This must be Guatemalan SHB. Let me explain. Guatemalan SHB, strictly hard bean SHB, is a grade given to coffee grown at a high altitude of 4,500 feet above sea level. Thanks to the environment it's grown in, the coffee produced has a citrus-like acidity with a fruity chocolate flavor. <sighs> the flavor profile is bland. You should practice more to bring out the roast's full potential. Although, I see you are preparing the cup the way I taught you. I'll acknowledge your hard work. Hey, and we got a couple points towards the Hierophant, looks like. You still have a lot to learn in coffee and in life. Be patient. All right, we'll take those words to heart. We should get some rest. We have a big day tomorrow. And now we can heal a little bit of SP. Huh. I wonder what all these posters are about. It says it's from the Phantom Thieves. Look, there's a bunch over there too. Is this some kind of stealth marketing campaign? Junior Kaneshiro, who's that? Yeah, he's kind of an underlord, but it's okay. An underworld lord, rather. Monday 27th, the promised day. Let's freaking do this. Good morning. Oh, I made it on time. I suppose I'm still safe if you're here. 
I can't be late today, too. Not a morning person. Oh, no. You seem busy. Mm. Well, yes. I don't deny it. I have much more work in television because of the Phantom Thieves. I have permission from my school, but it's still tough to do both. Uh, I can't keep complaining. Well, let's both do our best today. All right, Akichi, you do what you've got to do, dude. He's our justice confidant for some, like, that was really random. So sorry. It's so gross and humid, even though it's the end of June. Oh yeah, in Japan, when the rainy season ends, we say that it opens. But in English, it's more common to hear people say that the rainy season closes. Be careful. Expressions for the weather are totally different depending on what country you're in. Now then, Mr. Inazuma. How about you? In English, what does the term cat and dog weather refer to? Uh, heavy rain. Good. That's right, raining cats and dogs. The strongest theory for its origin is that the sound of rain resembles that of dogs and cats fighting. Some other European languages describe bad weather as dog's weather too. Hey, did you know that? I had no idea. Maybe he actually is smart. I'm kind of impressed. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice go. Wow, he must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. I mean, well, you know. Even though our knowledge right. is still in learned. Additionally, in Norwegian, they say it's raining witches. And in Polish, they say it's raining frogs. Just to say, heavy rain, as many things fall as there are countries in the world. Oh yeah! When they say that it, uh, that over here, they say that when a cat washes its face, it rains. I clean my face every day because I like being clean, and let me tell you, that's a load of bull. I mean, hey. Okay, so now, let's see what they came up with. Oh! Excuse me, sir, but... Uh, I found this on the car. There's something written on it. Dude, he, for a menacing man, he sounds like he's about to crap himself. Hmm? Read it. Um, but... I said, read it! <clears throat> Sir Junya Kaneshiro, the money-devouring sinner of gluttony, you indulge in scamming others with horrendous methods that target miners exclusively. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. We will take your distorted desires without fail. We're gonna take your heart, dude! From the Phantom Thieves. I isn't this bad? Yeah, dude. What of it? I if something happened to you, I mean, if the higher ups find out about this. Higher ups? Who's higher up than Junior in his own underworld schemes? Don't waste your time worrying about this useless shit. Just keep quiet for now. B but it's posted all around the city. People are talking about it online, too. <sighs> All of you, bring me your earnings. If you don't surpass your quota, I'll kill you. Why? What's that gonna fix? Yes, sir. Maybe he's not speaking literally. Phantom thieves, don't make me laugh. No one's around to no one's around to actually witness it this time, but still. Hey, we're leaving. Pay for this. <laughs> Who's they, dude? You don't know who we are? Come on. All right. The calling card's been posted all over Shibuya. A good idea, no? Given the theatrical nature of this one, Kanashiro must surely have been contacted about it. Not bad. You truly are the brains of the Phantom Thieves operation. Ryuchi should, uh, you should follow her example. You know, I'm the one who went posting it everywhere, right? I even had to get all dressed up so they wouldn't notice me. 
Come now, we don't have the time for idle chit chat. Let us get moving. It's we're going up. Uh, we're going up against a truly horrible criminal this time. That dick ain't gonna stop us now that we got our awesome new member, Makoto. You remember how all this works? Once we steal the treasure, the palace will crumble and the palace ruler's heart will change. Wow, you got that quick! I think Ryuji's still struggling to comprehend it all. Now, Evil adults are nothing more than garbage, and I am no better. I will resolve this, I swear it! Sounds like you're fired up! Alright, Joker, give us the signal! Let's do this. It's showtime. Oh yeah! Heart stealing's the name of the game, boys and girls. Um... Is this it? Oh, this is definitely not it. Hold on. Because we're dropping Yusuke for Makoto. Now we're good to go. Well, first, we're gonna save it, though. Da, 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 da. Whew. And no elaborate heist this time. Our only objective today is stealing the treasure. Let's go! And there's nothing standing between us and it. Heck yeah! Man. I wonder what it's gonna look like, actually. I haven't given any thought to that. Hmm. Though I didn't realize that Madonna Maze would be his uh, painting. The metal made sense. Oh, is that Kaneshiro? He's got three Jokers with him, huh? He was waiting for us. Uh, let's uh, let's walk around him. Really? It's letting us. Oh, okay. That's why it let us walk around. Thank you.